Let's back up other stuff. What's other stuff? There's something particular to your own computer. And you're the only and you're the only person who knows where the your other stuff is. Kay, let's check my computer and see where my other stuff is. I go start programs. I will go through all the programs that have been installed and see if there's any important data associated with any program that I need to back up. So I go through them one by one. Outlook Express has been finished. Microsoft Office. I got my Word, Publisher, PowerPoint, Excel, Access files in my documents folder already and I already back out my documents folder for Microsoft Office Outlook 2003 I just backed up already good Adobe. whoa simply counting I almost forget this simply counting I definitely need to back it up because I really cannot afford losing it okay so we open up simply counting okay Okay, so now we're gonna back up simply counting. Go file, go backup. Okay, the default backup file name is is called backup, and uh, it will be saved in this folder. I don't want to save the file in here. Actually, I want to save it into uh, G drive. Okay, so I go browse. Okay, browse. Uh, we go G drive. Okay, in G drive we we go backup. Okay, we're gonna save the simple accounting backup file in backup folder on G drive. Okay, we're gonna name it simply. You can use backup, but I want make it as simply make it m uh, more meaningful. Okay, save. Good. Now you see. Okay, I will s make the backup simply and uh, save it into G Drive backup folder. Okay, I go. Okay. Backup in progress. Backup complete. Good. So now we can close it. After check up all the installed programs, I will check up my hard drive folder by folder. I got two partitions, C and D. My D drive is the empty drive. There's nothing on D drive. So I will check up C drive. Well, on C drive, I noticed that I have a folder I need to back up. It's in here. Okay, I don't want to lose it. So I right click on my downloads. I go copy. I close it. My computer. Go to G drive again, go to backup folder, R right click on the white area and go paste. That takes a few seconds. Alright, it's finished. I got my downloads folder backed up on G Drive. When you back up your other stuff, you have to think very carefully. Uh, for example, you may run a QuickBooks, so you need to back up your QuickBooks file. You may run QuickText, so you definitely need to back up your text files. And uh, if you have Photoshop or AutoCAD, you have to know where you save those graphs and you need to find them out and transfer them to the uh, backup media. Now we're finished all the data on my computer so we backed them up on the G drive. Okay, let's go to the G drive backup folder. I got all my data in here, okay. Favorites, my documents, desktop. This is my email setting file, IAF file, email setting file. This file 
records all my email settings in details. So in case this file is corrupted, I still can recover my email settings from this file. This is my Outlaw Express email messages file. And this is my Outlaw Express address book. This is my Outlook PST file. It has my messages, calendars, tasks, notes. And this is my Outlook archive file. It has all my old archived stuff. And this is simple accounting. It has all my financial information in here for the for tax press for the company. And this is my downloads folder. Good, I got everything on the G drive. Okay, I backed all the data I need to back up on the G drive already. On my Windows SP computer, I am the only user with my personal computer. So there's only one user account with my Windows SP computer. So on your computer, you may have multiple user accounts set up with Windows XP. For example, you may share your computer with your families. So you created multiple user accounts with your Windows XP. To back up other accounts, to back up other to back up data in other accounts, you have to log on into those accounts one by one and uh, repeat all these backup steps. Make sure you don't lose any data with other accounts.